Hey, so we're going to look at a little example of geometric series today. Um, we're going to use geometric series to calculate the area of something called a Sierpinski triangle. Now, the way that you make a Sierpinski triangle is you start with an equilateral triangle. We'll say this thing has area A, and so our area will be something relative to A. And what you do to make the Sierpinski triangle is you do this iteratively. You cut out a triangle from the middle, so we cut out this pink equilateral triangle. And the area of that guy is one-fourth of my total area A. So if I stop at this point and I calculate area, my new area is going to be three-fourths A because I'm taking A and I'm subtracting uh, a fourth from it. Now, if I keep doing this, I'm going to cut out three more little triangles from each of these remaining triangles. And the area of each one of these little purple triangles is one-fourth of one-fourth of the total area A because each of those little white triangles that I started with um, is area one-fourth of A, and then I cut out the middle of that. And I did that three times. So when I cut out three more triangles, each of those little guys has area three times a fourth times a fourth times A. Or sorry, that all three of them together have area three times a fourth times a fourth times A. And so if we're calculating our total area at this point, we take A minus one-fourth A minus three times um, one-fourth times one-fourth times A. And let's do it again. So we cut out a bunch of these little guys, and each one of those has area one-fourth of one-sixteenth of A. And if I count up, I have nine of those. So I keep doing the same sort of calculation. So I take my total area A, I subtract a fourth of A, I subtract one-fourth times three-fourths of A, I subtract one-fourth times three-fourths times three-fourths of A. If I did this again, I would be taking three, uh, well, I guess I'd be taking 27 of one over four to the third, which is, I guess, sort of big. It's going to be 64, and that's going to give me my next term in my series. And I start to see that this looks kind of geometric. Um, not right away. We have to do a little bit of stuff first. But let's factor out the A. And when I pull out the A, I have A times 1 minus the quantity 1 fourth times 3 fourths to the 0 plus 1 fourth times 3 fourths to the first plus 1 fourth times 3 fourths squared plus dot, 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 dot. And this passes my check for being a geometric series. My uh, constant A is one-fourth, and my radius R is three-fourths. So if I want to, I can say that the area of the geometric series part, um, or at least that geometric series piece, that converges to A over one minus R. That's one of our facts about geometric series, as long as the absolute value of the radius is strictly less than one. And when I simplify one-fourth over one minus three-fourths, well, that's one-fourth over one-fourth, which is one. And I see that my area turns out to be A times 0 or 0. So that's kind of cool. We keep cutting out all the middle thirds of these triangles. And using a geometric series analysis, we can conclude that there's no area left by the time we get done with this process.